Hi, this is a basic video on the resources in the game. Firstly, MP, stands for manpower. On the right hand side, this is the indicator here, in orange, it says 387, 388. This is the amount of resources you are getting, um, and it's constantly increasing throughout the game. Uh, down the bottom you see this plus 1.5, this is the amount uh, per second you are gaining uh, in the game. So everything in the game costs MP, such as assault infantry is 110 MP, the regular infantry is 160 MP, uh, later on there are more expensive things like the Tiger at 1200 MP. Um, the thing is with that, um, it does cost a lot, so you won't about afford it in the early game. Uh, later game you may. There's also some other strategies involved in terms of banking the MP to get what you want, but that's for another video. Uh, other than that, there's also special points. This is unrelated to the MP. Actually, every every person gets 10 special points, and in those special points, everything costs either one special point for these veteran sniper, three special points for the martyr, or other things over here if you want. So, uh, basically, those are the, the resources in the game, which is basic, basically is money in the game. Uh, if you want to know the details of it, uh, basically, the MP increases as the game goes along. As you can see now, it's 1.7. Uh, that's because you reached the three minute mark where it gains quicker. So that's how you can actually afford units uh, later down the track because the MP increases, um, uh, the, incre the gain increases as the game goes along. So at three minutes it's 1.7, at six minutes it's 1.8, um, then I think at 10 minutes it's about um, two, two or something. So it basically goes up a lot. Um, in terms of knowing the detail of, of this, you don't really need to know to become a great player. To be a great player, all you need to know is that you're going to get more resources um, as you go along. Special points, you're never going to gain them. Once you spend them, uh, that's it. So you have to be very strategic on your choices in this menu. Command points, also known as CP. And you can see the indicator on the right hand side where it's in blue, it says 60 out of 100. Basically the standards in Assault Cert competitive mode is 100 CP maximum. Which means you can only field certain things on the field. So you do have to, you can't actually just spam 100,000 units on the field at once. You need to be wary of how much you can command on the field. When you go to a unit when you purchase it, when you hover it over it for a while, you can see it says it costs 110 MP. Um, the score, ignore the score, that's just for combat mode, which is totally broken and unbalanced, so I don't recommend it at all. CP is what matters here, where it says it costs 20 CP. So that means you can only field 5 assault squads maximum for your entire army. So this stops someone from spamming unbelievably amounts of a certain unit, or um, yeah, not strategically playing or choosing its units. So essentially, you can have 5 of these on the field. As you go up to the infantry tree, you'll see that other ones are a bit more expensive in CP. So Panzer Grenadiers, you can only have three of these squads on the field. Mechanized Panzers, 3.7. Tanks are worth different as well. If you go down to the tank tree, you see the P3 is worth 23 CP. So you, if you want to combine this with buying assault squads, you can have uh, only three assault squads and one P3 because it's 23 MP, which gives you um, 83, 83 CP, which means you cannot buy another assault squad at 20 CP, if you know what I mean. So uh, down the track, it's more expensive, 40 CP, and King Tiger is a massive six, 50 CP, which means that's your half of the army you can field. So not only these units are expensive, they also cost a lot of command points, which enables you to have less on the field. Just remember that when you're buying some really expensive CP hogs. Um, also down the track you can see some artillery pieces, uh, anti-tank guns, they're worth less CP, 10 CP for some flax, pack 40, 20 CP, uh, Hummels 28 CP, it's pretty high for an artillery, so it's quite a strategic choice um, what to bring to the field. Um, sometimes, actually I won't go into the strategy on what to buy and what your army composition will be, that will be for another video, this will be just the basic ones. So that's the command points, um, obviously you can play around with what you want to field, just hover over the unit and you can tell how much CP it has. Those new to the Men of War series probably don't understand the concept payback. Payback is the manpower or resources you get back for losing a unit. That sounds silly doesn't it? But I, it actually works quite well. Um, it promotes more, less um, campy play and also allows the losing player to come back. But nevertheless, the difference is quite small. It won't really affect the game, in my opinion. 
So how it works is, let's say I lose 110 MP Assault Squad, I'll eventually get the money back. But the rate I get it back depends on the amount of CP I have in the field. So let's say I have no army in the field after I lose this Assault Squad, which means I have zero command points. And with that, means I get 1 MP per second. So I'll get 60 MP per minute, which isn't that much. Uh, but usually you wouldn't. If you lose the Assault Squad, you'll have another army in the field. So let's say I had 90 CP, which is a decent army in the field after I lose the Assault Squad. This means I will gain 0.4 um, MP per second because I have quite a few, a lot of CP. This is only a 24 MP difference per minute, which isn't much at all. But keep in mind though, this is what happens uh, with payback. So um, in terms of being scared of you un using your units, being cautious for uni players, try not to be cautious. It's actually not a good way to play. The best way to play is to be dynamic, attack, and move around a lot. And don't be scared to lose your infantry or units because you'll get the money back eventually. Uh, but also don't be too reckless, obviously, because the amount you get back is very, very small uh, or very, very slow. Um, so uh, keep in mind that payback exists, but it shouldn't really affect your entire strategy in the game. Um, also note on the top right there, you can see that number, that is the payback you'll get back per second.